Hello my lovelies, this is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I will be making another wall art with some cove and a resin C. I have pre-sketched my board and I'm all ready to go with sculpt mode that I will be molding my terra, land and the hills and basically everything that I need uh, to have for this project. I absolutely love this sculpt mode. It's so easy to use and just add water mixed together. It creates a very soft paste-like uh, material so you can take it and apply where you need and it's really great to work with as it starts to set in about 10-15 minutes so I tend to mix uh, little by little so it's always a fresh uh, material to work with and it's less stressful for me as I found find it uh, I can manage to do exactly what I need for that momentum and then I mix some more and carry on doing without thinking that I will run out of time. So here I start to work on my uh, cove mountain parts. And yeah, it's really fun to do. I like it. I like to make my own landscapes. I find it really interesting and it relaxes me as well. And now here I'm starting to work on some detail for the mountain and um, yeah, it's just slowly, slowly adding some detail by detail and try to look it as realistic as you can do. And after that, I will add some marks with my tools or just fingers. Yeah, here I'm starting to work on bit uh, texture all around. And it's great that at this point uh, uh, the sculpt mold is already setting and getting quite hard, but still it's quite moldable and you can get details that you desire. And after that I just leave it to dry and as this one was quite large project uh, it took about five days to actually get dry for me. And then after the next step is painting. So these are my basic three colors that I'm using for my terrain. Um, I do 
mix them together with water quite a bit as uh, this uh, sculptor mold when it's dry it sucks a lot of moisture in so it works great to make the color quite distilled i think is the correct word distilled and yeah just paint 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 this is my base color i tend to do a uh, brown as a base and then go over with black wash so it enhances the crevices of the terrain and then finish off with a bit of white highlights At this point the land already looks quite alive and I am enjoying the progress that I'm making with my colors. So after this black wash I'll just add some white highlights and this is with the dry brush just to go a bit over and make settle white parts just to stand out a bit and now for the next i'm using arteza acrylic paints and i paint my sea so this is the part where the resin is gonna go So the paint job is finished and I'm letting to dry and next steps is going to be add some green and for that I'm using these two products uh, of course I will link everything in the description and I'm starting just with this tiny green kind of grass that is uh, easy to use just sprinkle over the gluey part and it will stick there and yeah so just with pva i'm going around my project and i apply it and then after i sprinkle all over uh, 
one video I did actually mix it with the glue but unfortunately it didn't work out because uh, this product did the color the glue green and this I didn't like maybe some other brands would not uh, make the glue colored so this time I just uh, doing this way and it's working out just fine and the glue remains white and after that I'm done I leave it to dry for a good 24 hours until moving on to my other green parts And oh gosh, how I struggle with these green leaves that they wouldn't stay where I put them. And um, it was a real struggle. I was screaming off camera and cussing and just using my fingers and try to stick that it stays somewhere. But uh, slowly, slowly I got there and yeah, putting this um, green, uh, I don't know, like bushes on, uh, I start to notice how the project is coming to life and I really like it. And after I finish applying this one, once again, I left it to dry for a good 24 hours. And the next step is I will add some sand for my beach parts. And once again, I'm using simple PVA glue. I'm putting on the part where I want my sand to sit, to stick and just uh, putting the glue down and after I'll sprinkle the sand I go over with a generous spray of this uh, glue mix that uh, contains water, mud podge and bit of soap. And yes, I spray a lot. So this helps for all the things stay in place. Right. Now to the last part and it is applying the C and for that I'm using resin and today I'm using glass cast tree and it is on the thick side that it's great for doing these kind of projects. This is my white that is uh, from Just For You Online UK pigment paste that's going to be my wave part and I'm adding just couple drops of each color and creating my tones <coughs> excuse me tones for the sea and 
and after that start to pour. I did uh, put around a barrier of tape. I'm trying out today a different tape. I am hope it's going to work better. Uh, it's a double-sided sticky tape that I had in my studio. It's a bit thicker and it worked okay. Just after next day when I wanted to remove it, I had a little issues that I had to take it off slowly, slowly, bit by bit. Maybe if you, my lovelies, have any suggestions for the tape for border uh, you use and it's good for these projects, could you please let me know in the comment section. And now after I pour my resin, I'm going around with my heat gun, pop the bubbles and blend the color together. And yes, I did add a little palms and palm trees. Uh, I did off camera because it's quite fiddly job. So I left the resin to sit for about 15 minutes this time. And then I come in with my white and I will try to make a little bit of waves. I found it quite hard to do because my heel was quite high and I couldn't get the good angle. But anyway, I didn't want to overdo with the white. I just wanted a little bit of accent, some waves splashing around. And let it to dry. And this is the finished result. And I absolutely love how it turned out. Honestly, I can't believe that I made something like that. I'm really proud of myself. And uh, yeah, this is definitely something different, much more different what I usually make. So I hope you found this video useful and entertaining. Please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye. Until next time, keep creating. Bye!